Okay, so ito naman, it's all about asymptote. An asymptote is an imaginary line to which a graph gets closer and closer as it increases and decreases without limit. So later, I will explain it more para mas makita nyo kung ano ang itsura ng asymptote. Pero this time, i-explain ko muna kung paano ang pagkuha ng asymptote given ang isang rational function. So let's start. Okay, so the first question here is, find the horizontal and vertical asymptote of the rational function r of x equals to x minus 2 all over x plus 2. So, ipapakita ko muna yung mga, yung three cases kung paano ang pag-compute or ang pag, kung paano ang paghanap ng vertical and horizontal asymptote. Okay, so ito yung mga cases to determine the horizontal asymptote of a rational function. So, again, this is for horizontal asymptote only. So, case 1, when n is less than d, y is great, y is, when n is less than d, y is automatically equal to 0. Ito yung x-axis ka, agad na sinasabi. No? So, paano yun? For example, meron tayong f of x equals to 7x squared plus 2 all over 3x cubed minus 4. So, kung titingnan nyo, ano ba yung n? Ano, ano ba yung d? So, yung n, ito yung degree ng polynomial na nandun sa numerator. So, kung ito yung, poly, ito yung polynomial na nasa numerator, ang pinaka-highest exponent ni x dito is 2. So, your n is 2. Next, pag sinabing d, you will find the degree of the polynomial in the denominator. Pag sinabing degree of the polynomial, yung pinakamataas na exponent ng variable x na nasa denominator, so that is 3. When, if you are going to compare n and d, that is n less than d, dahil ang 2 is less than 3. So therefore, it is under the case number 1. So the Horizontal asymptote here is y equals to 0. Okay? Okay, so tapos na tayo sa case 1. Dito naman tayo sa case number 2. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa case number 2. So, ang sabi dyan, when n is equal to d, then the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to a sub n all over a sub d. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan? For example, we have a rational function of f of x equals to 3x plus 4 all over, let's say, um, 2x minus 1. So, let us find the value of n and the value of d. So, the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is 1, imaginary 1. The degree of the polynomial in the denominator is same, imaginary 1. So, the relationship between n and d, that is n equals to d. So, gagamitin daw natin yung formula na yan na y equals to a sub n all over a sub d. Where a sub n is the leading coefficient of the numerator. So, pag sinabi leading coefficient, ito yung degree, no, ng polynomial, 1. So, yung katabi niyang number, which is 3, ayun yung leading coefficient ng numerator, kasi nasa numerator siya. Pag sinabi namang a sub d, yun, ito yung degree ng polynomial, ito yung leading coefficient ng polynomial, ito yung leading coefficient, that is 2. So, therefore, ito ngayon yung kanyang horizontal asymptote. Okay, so dito na tayo sa case number 3. When n is greater than d. So, for example, our function here is f of x equals to 2x squared plus 1 all over x. Okay. All over x minus 1. Okay, so what is the value of n? What is the value of d? Then let us compare. So, your n, the degree is 2. So, sa denominator, the degree is imaginary 1. 
So, we can say that N is greater than letter D. So, dahil 2 ay mas mataas sa 1. So, you will go to the case number 3. There is no horizontal asymptote. So, wala nang ibang computation na dyan. Ang lalagay niya lang is no horizontal no horizontal asymptote. Okay? So, kung wala siyang horizontal asymptote, maybe meron siyang slant asymptote. Okay, so let us go back to the problem. We will find the horizontal and vertical asymptote of the function r of x equals to x minus 2 all over x plus 2. So, dun muna tayo sa horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote. So, sa horizontal asymptote, meron tayong 3 cases, no? So, hanapin muna natin yung value ng n and value ng d. So, the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is imaginary 1. Ganun rin naman sa denominator. So, since n is equal to d, balikan natin, your n here, balikan natin, your, balikan natin, that is under case number 2. Case number 2. Ang gagamitin natin, we have y equals to a sub n all over a sub d where a sub n is the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is 1. Wala kasing, kana, wala kasing number nakatabi si x, that is imaginary 1. And the degree, and the leading coefficient of the, de, and the leading coefficient of the denominator, that is also imaginary 1. So, divide nyo lang, 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, therefore, our so, divide nyo lang, 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, therefore, our horizontal asymptote is y equals to 1. Next, let us go to the vertical asymptote, v, a, vertical asymptote. So, ang vertical asymptote, titignan nyo lang lagi yung denominator, yung x plus 2, and then equate to 0. Hahanapin natin ngayon kung saan hindi pwedeng tumama yung Okay, so dito, hanapin natin yung value ni x. To find the value of x, nililipat lang yan. So, that is x equals to negative 2. Ito na yung vertical asymptote. Okay? So, okay, so we have another function there. We will find the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the zeros of the given rational function. So, pisan na natin sa vertical as sa horizontal asymptote. So, ang horizontal asymptote, hanapin muna ang n, hanapin din ang value ng d. So, ang degree ng numerator natin, so, ang degree ng nasa numerator natin, ano kaya? Wala naman siyang x, di ba? So, therefore, that is 0. Kasi para siyang x raised to 0, and x raised to 0 is 1. And 1 times 4, 4 pa rin yan. Okay? Next, the degree in the denominator, yung pinakamatas na exponent dito, that is 2. So, that is your 2. And then, how will you compare n to d? Okay? So, sino ang mas mataas? Sino ang mas mababa? Kung saan nakabuka ang bibig ng buwayas, doon yung mataas. Okay? Kasi gusto ng buwayan na yan ay kainin dahil mas gusto niya yung marami. Okay? So, therefore, n is greater than d. And this is under case number 1. Kapag case number 1, automatic, your y is equal to 0. This is your horizontal asymptote. Let us go to the vertical asymptote. To find the vertical asymptote, you will just get the denominator. Kunin natin yan. So, x, harangan natin. x squared plus 6x minus 6 equals not equate to 0. So, this is 16, oh. Okay, so let us solve this kind of question. Okay, so let us solve this equation. How will you solve it? It is in quadratic equation. So, we can solve it using factoring. But, um, pwede natin isolve to by factoring since factorable, no? So, pag mapapanood mo yung 
isa kong video about factoring, makukuha mo na yung factors nito, which are factors of x squared, x times x. Factors of negative 16, that will give us positive 6. So, ano-ano yan? So, ano factors na negative 16? That is 8 times negative 2. And, pwede rin siyang negative 8 times 2. Meron pa ba? Pwede siyang negative... Pero, ang target ko kasi ay positive 6. So, nakakakita na ako rito ng positive 6. Ito kasi, pag in is positive 6. Ito is negative 6. So, therefore, kukunin ko na kagad yung factors na to, which are positive 8 and negative 2. So, with that, madali na natin masasolve ang value ni x. To find the value of x, by zero product property, it's x plus 8 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So, solve natin to, that is x equals negative 8. Ito naman, x equals to positive 2. So, dalawa ang kanyang vertical asymptotes. Next, let us find the zeros or let us find the x and y intercept. So, x intercept and y intercept. Sa x intercept, sino ang nagiging zero? Si y. Sa y intercept, ang nagiging zero, si x. So, gawin natin tong zero yung h of x. That is 0 equals to 4 all over x squared plus 6x minus 16. So, this is over 1. Multiply natin. That is 0. So, this is uh, multiply natin. That is 4. And this is 0. So, we cannot find the value of x here. Therefore, there is no x intercept. Okay? Next, for y-intercept naman, x is 0. Gawin natin 0 ito mga to. So, that is y equals to 4 all over 0 square plus 6 times 0 minus 16. So, y now, this is 4. Wala na to, no? Cancel, cancel. Magiging negative 16 na lang. So, y is equal to negative 1 4, kasi pwede siyang ilawisar by 4. So, therefore, the y-intercept is, ang, zero, ang x mo is 0, ang y mo is negative 1 4. Okay, so, eto yung kanyang y-intercept at wala siyang x-intercept. Dalawa ang vertical asymptote at ang horizontal asymptote is the x-axis or y equals 0. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy learning about the asymptotes, intercepts, and zeros of the rational function. And before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. Elvin and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.